We're back with more on the WHHI News and here with an update on Second Helpings is its executive director, Marcus Tanner. Thanks, Thanks for man. coming by. Thanks for having us. It's great, great to be here. Well, give an overview. A lot of people have heard of you <clears throat> already. How many people do you help? So Second Helpings, we're a food rescue organization. We go to all the grocery stores in all three counties of Beaufort, Jasper, and Hampton. We deliver food to over 50 agencies, soup kitchens, and pantries throughout the area. Uh, the last study that was done by Feeding America was that over 20,000 people are in need, uh, food insecure, that just don't have the basic needs to be able to meet the nutrition and everything that they need to, to have a normal life. So that's where you all come in. Yes, ma'am. So we partner with tons of agencies to be able to pick up food and deliver it to them free of charge and to help them actually outreach and meet those needs. Right, because it's interesting. Before we started and we were chatting, I said to you, gee, you know, did you hear so-and-so, another organization got a big grant? Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow, is they, are they a competitor, quote unquote, for those donation dollars? And you said absolutely not. No, ma'am, because uh, we actually support a lot of those agencies who are also seeking donations because like Deep Well, Bluff and Self Help, a lot of these organizations who are helping the community, we actually supply them with food to be able to give out to the community. So it's really a huge partnership of the community helping the community to meet the needs. Now, what is changing as far as the delivery of food? You said you're making some changes. Yes, ma'am. So for the last year and a half, we've been going out to all of our agencies, meeting with them to find out what their needs are, how can we help, uh, how many people they serve, and then we've been also gathering the amount of food that we've been rescuing, and we've got it tracked down to the pound of where it's gone. So what this allows us to do is go back and each individual agency give them enough food for their people that are in need. So if they serve 50 people, we can allocate according to that. If they serve 500, we can allocate according to that. So every pound is gonna go to where it needs and the amount it needs it and who, it, who it's supposed to go to. Now who's doing all that work? That is a lot of work with numbers. So we've got, a, we, honestly, we've got a, a very short staff. Uh, there's four of us, mm -hmm. uh, two, two uh, full-time, two, uh, two part-time, but we've got abundance of volunteers who come in and help when they know the good that we're doing and the impact that it's making, uh, they come in by the gross. Absolutely, now you've got a couple of events you want to talk about. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, one is going on uh, even as we speak through Saturday. What's that? Yes, ma'am. So Rock and Ribs. Uh, it's down at Caligny. It's just a huge uh, community event where they're going to have tons of barbecue, music, festival, fellowship, uh, tons of things going on out there. There's food trucks. There's cooking classes. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and 38 Special is going to be there. So that's one of my all-time favorite bands. Oh, so it's I, just I have be... a feeling you might be there if you yes, can make it. Yes, okay. so, I, so we're, we're there all, all through the time. From and and there some Saturday. of the donations or the proceeds from this are yes, going to go to you, which is yep. awesome. Yep. awesome. So us and the Carl Ruiz Foundation, we, we're the takers of the, the proceeds. Super. Now, Palmetto Breeze and the project Fill yes. the Need, tell me a little bit about that. So uh, today is actually their six-year anniversary. So what they do is they uh, is Fill the Need is a program that is of second helpings that we partnership with Palmetto Breeze Bus Station. So every Thursday, those riders who come from you know miles away to the island. On a island, long, long bus ride to yep, and from. Yep, and then yep. as they go home, uh, by the time they get home, usually grocery stores are closed or they don't have the opportunity to get food. So we provide them kind of a, a grocery store style environment where they get to walk through, pick what they want, they get as much as they can carry, uh, and it's a really great opportunity to, to kind of show those individuals who work on the island uh, how much we appreciate Absolutely. them and help meet their needs, and that's why it's called Fill the Need. Tell me uh, what it was like the first time you went to witness uh, that. So I'd been the executive director for about a week, and I went to that, that, my first event, and I was just broken by that because so many people uh, you could you could just tell that they had been you know at five o'clock in the morning is when they started their day on the bus and then they go to the island they work all day and then they're on the way back home and you'd think that they would be tired exhausted but the the, the smiles on their face uh, the beauty of the thankful that this that they had uh, it was really just something where I could see the the good that Second Helpings is doing but more so that the the uh, the community helping the community absolutely well it's been great to talk to you Marcus yes, here I, you know I did not know uh, that you were a former Marine but yes, I'm glad you retired because <laughs> yes, you were doing some great work in our community yes ma'am wow it's I'm just so blessed to be here well thank you so much thank you and we will be right back